What is up guys and girls, welcome to another video. We are currently in Kentucky on an, an adventure, <laughs> to say the least. It's an insane pick. It's um, awesome. Yeah. To come, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to go through this entire journey that we've been on and I promise you it is, like Ali said, it's an epic adventure. It's probably our biggest buy that we've ever done. So hit that subscribe yeah. button. Uh, we also wanted to start today's video off by letting you know that this coming Tuesday at 9 p.m. we're doing our second ever auction, live auction on the Whatnot app. I'll leave a link to that in the description of today's video. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of vintage t-shirts again, yeah. and maybe some other stuff, but mainly the ones that we found, those like crazy 3D MM Harley Davidson shirts, the band tees, some Looney Tunes stuff, some really cool stuff. So make sure you're there for that. Mm -hmm. And then teaser in the future, probably the next couple of weeks, we're gonna do a shoe auction. Yes. Yes. So, new shoes. New, nice shoes like sneakers, like Brooks, uh, maybe Jordans, Keens, Merrells, even for people who have those consumable shoes that you're using for hiking. Uh, Lots of shoes. <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> There's some shoes coming. <laughs> it's going to be insane. All right, guys and girls, let's get into today's video. You put a couple pictures of guns up in an estate sale in Florida, and this is what happens. <laughs> there has got to be 60 cars here. At least. At least. This is going to be interesting. I mean, I'm behind him right there on the checkout. This is not. No big deal. Oh, uh, those are funny. It's the three different sizes. Remember, we've seen these before. What is it? What's it for? Like little um, notes. Oh. Like by the phone, whenever you would take a message. Oh. Or, you know. There's some gloves. Those are kind of. They're a little snug, but. A little snug is fine because they stretch. If they fit you when we go. It's kind of awesome. Up north. Yeah. It's very. Because they're lined. You want lined ones. This is why I'm not cold when we go up north, because I wear those gloves that are almost exactly mm. the same, weather on the outside, that same lining on the inside. If the glove fits. Those are really nice. I mean, you need a pair of... Oh, uh, that's cool. That's a cool one. It's nice. It needs a nice clean. Yeah. No it's chips. very easy to clean. Oh is yeah, it? take it out, and then slide your finger in. Mm. Yeah. No cuts. <laughs> Eight bucks is actually, it's a nice snug fit. That's what you want too. Yeah. It's nice. Should I hold on to it? Yeah. Okay. This is nuts. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the handle. Smart. Smart. I know. Ten bucks. What you got? <laughs> okay, wait. I want to show you these. Can I get these? Oh, nice. Nice. I think six is fair. Yeah, six is fair. Between five and eight dollars is fair. Yeah. Oh, look, there's some Pyrex. Oh, that's funny. I don't think those are Pyrex. No. Right? They're just... Like Tap off. it? What does it feel like? Oh, weird. Pyrex. Pretty crazy estate sale. Tons and tons of people. Uh, we got here a little bit late, so a lot of the stuff that I saw in the pictures was gone already, but we did already pick up some stuff. Um, that printer, 60 bucks, at least into a couple hundred. The crazy thing though is that their credit card system machine went down, so now there's like a crazy long line of people trying to run their cards and they don't have cash, so luckily we always carry cash in the car, so I went and grabbed some. Ooh. I found um, good souls on it. $12. It's only 12 Yeah. It might be like $60 to $150. Wow. Spins. Depending on what's better. Look at the list. 
<laughs> oh. Is there a maker? Oh yeah, here's the box. Oh, it's got a box with it too. That's cool. I just gotta get um get it in the box. Babe. They're like little working nutcrackers. This is cool too. Activity set. I just gotta slide it in here somehow. It's only three dollars. Allie's in. This is really heaven. cool. <laughs> Did you see how cool this is? Yeah. Look at this. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Those are Have a good day, sir. Fifty dollars though. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. They're all that same brand of the Christmas houses you bought. Department fifty six. Yeah. All the Harley stuff. Look at our findings. Allie found a bunch of little thingies. We'll go through all this stuff. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to talk about it. Look at all these. These are for me, but the rest is not. Okay. I promise. Okay. Well, yeah, these two. These are yours. These are mine, yes. <laughs> all right, let's load it up. Okay. So I don't know about you, but when we first walked up to that estate sale, I had bad vibes. <laughs> I was like, we're not gonna find anything. There's already a thousand people here. All the good stuff's gonna be gone. I don't know, I did the typical thing. But we actually ended up getting some really, really cool stuff. I didn't think that at all. Well, that's because you're awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I was, I was actually, when we showed up there, because they had so much stuff, I was very optimistic. Nice. And I know a lot of people look over a lot of things that I personally like, and I know there's a yeah. lot of things that I personally like that a very small percentage is worth a good amount of money. True. Like vintage yeah. Christmas items, yes. right? Like a very small percent is worth a lot mm -hmm. of money. And if you find the right thing, and it's fun for me to look through that kind of stuff. Right. So I had hopes that I would find something, and I usually don't find something, but this time Today I found a lot of some things, which is very rare for me. I'm not as good at reselling at, as Ryan is. I'm really good at keeping. You are good at keeping. <laughs> So collecting, collecting, oh, collecting. Oh, I'm good at keeping. So we're gonna go through everything that we bought from the estate sale. The first thing I actually wanna start with though is that printer. And the reason Such why is buy. because, you know, I would say 90% of the people at that estate sale were resellers. Most of the people, in, at least in our area, who go to estate sales are going to buy stuff to resell. Not even online, but they have antique booths or they have flea markets and stuff like that. Store, some of them have flea stores. marketers. Yeah, but that printer was such a good buy. And like yeah. we've made so much money flipping new in the box printers that at least look at, look at it. You know, I, I watched probably 40 people walk right by that printer. A couple people did look at it and then just didn't buy it. And I think maybe the reason why is because the price tag, six $60 seems a little bit high. It's a bigger item, hard to ship. I don't know, but, or just people not knowing that printers can be decent money. But here's your, here's your Bolo. Be on the lookout for new in the box printers because that printer will flip for 250 yeah. at least. Absolutely over $200. Yeah. Potentially around $250. And then shipping on that, we'll put it in a, in a brown box and ship it out. And it's gonna cost us on the high end, 30 bucks to ship it. So mm -hmm. we'll make some decent profit on that. So definitely look out for new in the box printers and let's show some of the other really cool things we found today. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. Also shout out Zero right now because she looks like a National Geographic thing like hiding behind the <laughs> plant. She does. Zero. Oh, she sees that I have a box of a thing. What did she see? She sees my box. Oh, she's very intrigued. I don't want to take it out of the box and build it currently, but this item had very interesting sales on it. Is this German? I'm pretty sure everything in their house was German. Because anytime had. there's a crazy name like that that I can't pronounce, it's like a German wood piece. How do you say that? Wernox Permanente. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not gonna butcher it, but I saw a sale over $150 for this item. Nice. Sweet. Will it sell for over $150? I don't know. Do I want it to? Yes. Did I look at listed this time? No. But there are a lot of really good sales. Did so you buy this to sell? I bought this to sell. Okay. So but it's really delicate. Twelve dollars into probably listen, even on the low let's go on the worst case scenario and say it sells for eighty bucks. Eighty dollars. Plus another twenty five to ship it. We're still gonna triple our money on it. So mm -hmm. goodbye, Ben. Thank you. Nice. And so it's, a, it's a pretty cool piece too. It's a really cool piece. Um I really like this thing. It's incredible. It reminds me of It's a Small World. 
there's a, there's a room and it's a small world with one of these. Mm. So, but anyways, this this is a thing that people love. So very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of German stuff there. Be very careful. I got it. There's like <laughs> so many delicate things in there. I bought this for myself. Of course you did. I did, but they are worth money if you want to pick these up cheap enough to resell them. You could probably get thirty bucks. Now a is piece this one? For Cross stitch needlepoint, I always get it wrong. That's what I was gonna ask. Is this cross stitch or needlepoint? <sighs> I need to look it up. You should know that, babe. Yeah. There's a lot of things I should I know. I didn't know it either. I and would say I this also, is cross stitch though, if I was For $6, guess. got this. Welcome oh, sign. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's awesome. Is I don't that like gonna... the color of the frame. I would probably paint the frame personally, but. How much was that one? Six bucks? It was only six bucks. Six bucks too? Are you gonna put that in like the guest bedroom? Probably. Nice. I really like these. I really like these. Oh, they're so good. They're Even cool. for Easter, it would be cute to put it for Easter, or like some type of a holiday that it matches. I don't mind these. Oh, we got you some gloves. Oh yeah, I was actually pretty excited about these. I don't even know if these are women's or men's gloves. That yeah, doesn't really matter. They fit me well, and if they are leather, like 100% leather outside and 100% cashmere. Inside. Inside, so mm -hmm. fancy, fancy, schmancy me. Fancy schmancy. Even found the box for these. So uh, Steinbach. Oh, I know yes. that brand. You know that brand. Do they make nutcrackers? Yes, yes they do. But there are, I'm pretty sure everything's handmade and obviously put together by hand. Hand so, painted. So, and hand painted. These little ornaments, one of them had a sale of $20 on it, and there was the, a girl and a boy. So there's like a Mrs. Claus and kind of a Santa-ish themed one. Oh, it's cute. Honestly, it was only $3. I knew there was profit in it, so I just grabbed it because I was like, that can cover the cost of me getting myself those things. These are gorgeous. $3 uh, for both of them? Yes. Oh, uh, that's actually pretty cute. Look, she's got like a little needle and thread. So, and they're a good brand. A Mrs. Claus and a Mr. Claus. These are adorable. Any I've, year on these? I think that these would sell for $40 personally. Really? Yes. People collect Steinbach, and if you want these particular ones and you don't have them and they're together, and the box is in perfect condition, what I'm you, pretty sure these are worth good money. Let me see I don't the other know one? because I didn't have the opportunity to research before we started filming this. What do you guys think? Let me see if I can get an up close shot of these. Would that focus on these? <laughs> awesome Santas. I'll try to boost the light a little bit so you can see them, but yeah, those are pretty cool. They're adorable. Oh, they're so cute. I mean, the other thing too with the Christmas ornaments is we can hold on to those because we're not into them for that much money. Mm -mm. So some of these things, like we don't have to list them right now. We could wait till the holiday season to list them and get the most value for them at that point. Yeah, and I mean, it's cool stuff. We have the space. What I recommend to somebody who doesn't have the space to pick them up if they're worth selling now, yes, I would. But if you have to wait until Christmas to get max dollar for it, maybe pass on it. But also, if it's something cool and you like it, you can enjoy it for a year and then sell it the following year. True. Like, it's always fun to get something, enjoy it, and then sell it. We do that all the time. We do it all the time. I love that. Yeah. A lot of the stuff in our house right now is like stuff we're enjoying until yeah. we want to swap out with something else. And then when we do that, we can sell that item and make our money back. It's cool. Yeah, we have a lot of cool items that we could easily turn around and sell. That's what I do with it. shirts too. Like yeah, I'll wear shirts and then when I'm done with it, I'll sell the shirt. And they're worth more than you bought it for because Usually. the price of vintage typically appreciate when we buy it the way that we buy it. the way that we're buying it. Yes, I am so intrigued by these. So they're what is that? This is the top. This is the bottom. It attaches. Oh, is this he the... is smoking. He has an open mouth. You put an incense here and then close Get out it of here. and smoke comes out of its mouth. This is I've one of never the seen coolest things I've ever seen. I saw a comp for someone very similar for $60. For one? For one. Wow. Yes. Oop, almost dropped it. Ellie almost yeah, killed me. Yeah, I would have murdered you. <laughs> it was only $3. It was worth buying because I love it anyways. It smells like incense. Does it? it smells good. Smell, smell it. it. Ooh, it does smell good. This is Ooh. awesome. That's the coolest it's incense burner I've ever seen. Ever, ever. This is so cool. I want to keep it for a year and then sell it the following year. That's it looks what I like want to he do. He was holding something. He was holding something. Um, I thought it was an actual incense stick. Okay. But I don't think it was. I don't think so. No. 
But, I mean, it might be in this box. Is it that stick? <laughs> sure, let's go with that for now. There's a stick in this box. So that's one. Well, that's cool. Oh yeah, this is very cool. I didn't know what these were at first until I saw the word smoker on it. I wouldn't have known it, yeah. even seen smoker. Oh my gosh. Okay. Super cool find. Oh, it gets even really cool. <clears throat> House smoker. So the incense goes here. Oh, this is another incense one. Yes. That's so crazy. So you open them up like that and put your incense in there mm -hmm. and then close it up and it burns and the smoke comes out of his mouth because he's smoking a pipe. That's amazing. These are the coolest thing. All right, I like it. Are you gonna test these out? Do we have any incense? We, we have can... to test these out. I don't have the triangle incense, but I can get them. Yeah, you should. I can just order them from anywhere. Actually. Those are cool. Cool. So, and then I, you have to take him off to put him in the box. So value on those, what do you think? I think 50 bucks each. That's, if I had to guess, each. I don't know. I have to look. I have no idea. I didn't get to research it before we started filming. And we paid, I think the, the total for everything that was like 140 bucks. So if you're saying $100 or $50 each for those, that's 100 bucks right there just in those two things. Yeah. Nice. I got these as a consolation prize to myself for finding those. So I'll sell the really high-end ones. I love that. And then keep Every time these. we go sourcing, Allie sources for her budget. So she'll find something so and be like, hey, we made money. By the way, I got this for myself. I love it. I think that's an awesome way to do it. It's bad. They were only $2 and I was like, okay, well, I really want these. I have to have them. They are in their boxes still. They are also incense burners. Um, oh, there was a are. third one, but it wasn't as cute. I just, these aren't really worth anything. So I got them. These aren't worth anything? Not really. But I mean, they might be one day. They're also incense burners. I know, it's so Very cute. Cool. They're little smokers. They're all smokers. That's funny. Oh. Little old men smoking pipes. <laughs> so whenever we started selling the Department 56 items, right, we had accessories and then we had the buildings. And I discovered the profit was in the accessories, not necessarily the buildings, because the buildings are large and expensive to ship. So unless we were selling them locally, which there's not really a market for us to sell locally, there's just so much stuff in our area and people just want cheap deals. So I knew we would be selling, you know, all those houses online. So they had a Harley Davidson house. It was priced too high especially considering shipping, but they had a bunch of accessories. So I was like, okay, there's all these accessories. There's money in accessories. People want those. Those are the ones that get lost, broken. They never complete the set because the right. buildings are so expensive. Right. They're no longer making this product anymore. And they were Harley. And they're so, cheaper to ship for us too. Much cheaper to ship than a building. So I was like, okay, four accessories, the price of one building, but how much can I get value back? Potentially, I think for the four that I got, we could get a hundred dollars because three, is $30. So if we put four together, I know we could definitely get $100. We'd probably want to save it to list around Christmas time, but they are Harley. So Yeah, they have multiple things going for them. Holiday and Harley, well, and Department 56 too, and, and discontinued. discontinued. Yeah. The only reason why we even know about this brand is because we went to an auction, um, what, that was before Christmas. Yeah. And Allie bought this whole table of this Department 56 stuff and she kept a few of the pieces and the rest of them, almost all of the other ones have sold. So we made, we, we already made money on that stuff, but we found out, like Ali said, that the houses are good, but with shipping and everything else involved, the accessories are really where the profit is at. All the profits in the accessories. So picked up four. Comps were kind of all over the place, but there were definitely a lot of consistent enough comps to know that each of these items sells for around $30. Oh, each. Each item oh, individually okay, okay. Yeah. i thought you meant like three of them together would sell for 30 and then four together would sell for 100 that's why i was like that math doesn't oh, make sense my bad. no 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 each one has a value of a roughly roughly of around 30 dollars. and i know that okay so we have four together maybe we could get 100 dollars for all four shipping wouldn't be very expensive it would be a great listing because it's four separate items yes. right I, I do believe that we could list it for a little bit more, like 110. Okay, and then take an offer yeah. maybe for 100. These are all, I checked every single one, took them out of the box, looked at them, they're all perfect, excellent condition. Nice. Um, again, they are also all in the box, and the boxes are in 
perfect condition. So and with the outside part too, like sometimes yes. people throw that part away yeah. and just keep the styrofoam. So t I took into consideration the higher end of the comps because we have right. that version, right? So in CIB the box, complete in box. Yes, it's CIB, and the lower comps were not CIB. So you have to take that into consideration whenever you are looking at comps. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of this stuff listed, but. This will always be desirable. People are always going to be buying this Department 56 because it's one of the yeah. highest quality of villages it is. that's affordable. Yeah. There are higher quality ones, but you're going to pay. And another quick tip with these Department 56 figures is that if they do have this outside wrapping on them, the barcodes and model numbers. So like you can scan the barcode or you could look up by the model number. Like this one is 54901 or we can scan the barcode. So that's pretty cool. They made it easy. Yeah. yeah. And so two of them are Christmas in the city and two are Snow Village, but it doesn't matter because they're Harley. Harley. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I'm so nice, excited. Babe. I think that I did really well. Good job. I want to look up comps on that guy. I guess whenever you make the video, yeah. you're going to share the comps. Yes, right? I will. Uh, I hope you find good ones. <laughs> yeah. uh. So that's everything that we bought at the estate sale. This is the first time I've done this well for I us. Yeah, and it, for me, it was like, goes back to that don't judge a book by its cover thing. I have, I have to learn that lesson over and over again. <laughs> but this is how I learn it, by finding stuff that's of great value. So yeah, very happy. It was a fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to the channel to follow subscribe. more of our picking adventures. Yes, or don't subscribe. Or no, send me more unicorn do. things. Subscribe. If you want to do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And together, and together we, are... we are. Oh, you Rally did Roots. Very nice. Rally Roots. Bye, guys. Later, guys and girls. I forgot to mention one thing. We bought this decanter. It was in the dish strainer because I washed it. It was a little cloudy, but it's nice and it's sparkly. It actually does have a brand on it. We paid $8. The brand is Royal Limited. It's 24% 24 full lead crystal. Fun. That's good from the Czech Republic, which is pretty common for decanters, actually. I noticed that we have a lot now. <laughs> um, this part of the decanter, if you didn't know, is worth money. You can typically sell these. People are telling us for like $30 on eBay. We don't, we save them, like the whole thing, and put alcohol in it, because we're adults. <laughs> we're the worst. We need to stop buying so many decanters, but it was only $8. It could be a gift for myself. Perfect. <laughs>